Many people today believe Mary Magdalene was a reformed prostitute, but not here. Not at this church. This is the Orthodox Church of St. Mary Magdalene in Jerusalem. Here, and in Orthodox Christian churches across the world, Mary Magdalene is a revered figure, nothing like her sexualized image. The Orthodox Church sees Mary Magdalene as one of the faithful women, the myrrh-bearing women who, who came and was around Christ at the time of his crucifixion and resurrection. The portrayal of such an honored figure as a former prostitute could be one of the greatest character assassinations in history. The biblical account of Mary provides very few details about her life. For centuries, people believe her name, Mary Magdalene, simply means Mary came from a place called Magdala. But there is an entirely different interpretation of Mary's name, that Magdalene comes from the word Migdal, meaning tower. Could this be a clue not to where Mary came from, but to her character and importance in Jesus' movement? The other idea has to do with the Aramaic word for tower, Migdal, which gives an epithet for Mary similar to the epithet that St. Peter has. Peter, Peter is the rock. And in a way, it's very tempting to think that Peter is the rock and Mary is the tower. As Jesus and the disciples travel around Galilee, they need money, food, and shelter. Luke's Gospel says that a group of women provide this vital support, and the first to be named is Mary Magdalene. I think it's clear that she was an important member of the group. 